What is going on, YouTube? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture. Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, I got a video today discussing PGX. All right, before I get into it, though, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please take some time to do so and check out all the awesome links below. Official Journals, Comics, Merch, how you can support the channel via Patreon, via the Patreon link below, only $3.99 a month, and all the other awesome affiliates, including comic book canon but guys let's get in to this video guys pgx <laughs> is pgx a viable option for grading your books now guys i could go into depth with this video i could make it a half hour long video and bring up a whole bunch of different you know uh examples and variables and all this but i'm going to focus on this one ebay listing that you guys see on screen right here and we're gonna make a judgment based on this guys all right check this out we have a listing for an amazing spider-man number 50 first appearance of kingpin pgx graded 5.0 guys all right let's see what this uh seller says in the description if there's anything um it makes spider-man number 50 very good to find pgx 5.0 off white to white pages look at this Missing ad page. First appearance of Kingpin will combine shipping, yada, yada, yada. Okay, let, let, let's go into this, guys. Let's look at the book itself. Already, I, I, I already just gave part of it away, but let's zoom in on this on this uh, book. Let's look at the label. It makes Spider-Man 5.0. Now, I don't know how old this label is or when this was done by PGX. Oh, it looks, it says right there, graded. I believe that says August of 2019. I do know that these are some of their newer labels, so... It looks like it says August of 2019. This is new. So this isn't like PGX 10 years ago where it's like, oh, PGX has changed and whatnot. This is fresh off the boat from PGX, all right? Um, 5.0, first appearance of the Kingpin, origin of Spider-Man retold classic cover, off-white to white pages, missing page does not affect story. We're going to put the missing page aside for a minute. Let's look at this book, guys. Look at this book. I'm going to tell you right now, this book is nowhere near a 5.0. Nowhere near a 5.0. Look at what's going on in, uh, around the, uh, the the price box and whatnot. And then the spine. All right. Uh, the edges are completely rounded. You have multiple color breaks coming off the edges and around the corners. Um, oops, look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh, look, look at these. You got a huge about at least a two inch co color break going uh, through the end right there as well as multi another like inch and a half color break going through the uh, Comics Code Authority um, stamp. And it's just it's really beat up. And look at this. Look at by the S. That is a chunk rip. That is a rip, guys. A rip. Let's look at the back. It's got a date stamp that that doesn't mean anything. The back pay the back looks decent except for you got this big chunk missing of the bottom left corner. There's that rip, guys. Look at that. Okay, this is. I'm gonna tell you what I think of this book, and we're not even gonna talk about the missing page. I'm gonna tell you what I think of this book as I see it right here. Now I don't even know how the staples are. I don't know if there's if the staples are loose on the pages or anything. That's gonna bring this gray down. But from what I see right here, from the rounded edges, from all the spine wear and the parallel. Um, uh, color breaks that you see, you know, about a, a centimeter or two off the spine, deep color breaking spine ticks all throughout the rounding of the edges, the multiple scuffs and spine ticks, the multiple color breaking um, uh, bands that are more than an, it, there's there's multiple that that are more than an inch long. This book, oh, and then and then the rip, the rip right there, and then the missing chunk right there. This book would be lucky to get a 2.5. This book would get lucky to get a 2.5 in my humble opinion. Uh, and again, that's not even knowing that the state of all the pages being on the staples or the staples themselves. If this rip wasn't right here by the S, I, I could say with that chunk missing from the back, I could say maybe a, a, maybe a 3.5, more of a 3.0. But with this chunk, with this uh, rip right here, there's no way that this book is getting higher than a 2.5 in my humble opinion. But we're not even talking about this right here, guys. Missing page. 
Now, I don't know off the top of my head if PGX does any type of label or notation of when a book is incomplete. But we know what would happen if this book was sent to CGC. This is unbelievable, guys. This is nowhere near a 5.0. Um, and it would get a, a green qualified label if it was sent to uh, uh, CGC. And if it did get a, a blue label, if it got a blue label, I could guarantee you this book would get a 0 0.5. Now, it, I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away by this because like I said, even if it wasn't missing the page, there is no way that this book is a 5.0. And guys, that's my humble opinion, but I have studied a lot on, on grading. I've been very accurate and, and uh, my books that I sent off to CGC uh, the last couple of times. And this is just, this is not a 5.0. And it's an incomplete book as well. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it does not affect the story. It's an incomplete book, period, period, all right? Um, and for it not to, I, I know it says that it's missing a page, but there's no differentiation when you, when you look at the label. Uh, this is just, this is a bad business model in my opinion. There needs to be something that differentiates the fact that that page is missing or, or if it, you know, or, or you bring it down to what it would be. And like I said, with CGC, with the page missing, it, it, it would most likely get a 0 0.5 with the rest of this book being in the condition that it's in. All right. Um, no way though. No way is this book a 5.5.0. So, uh, like I said, I was just using this book as an example for this video guys, and that's it. So here's my advice to everyone. This this one example right here is enough for me to never send a book to PGX. And look, you guys know me. If you know me, if you watch my channel, you know I'm not here to blackball PGX. I want competition. I have issues with CGC. I have a lot of issues with CGC. I talked about it. I'm not going to talk about it today, but I talked about it. I want healthy competition in the grading industry. I talk about um I talk about EGS. Tony with EGS is doing amazing things. I think 2021 is going to be a great year for him. I love uh, that that I think CBCS is is gaining uh, market share. I love their the way their new labels and cases look. By the way, uh, I I do not want uh, a CGC to be this domineering um, figure in the market. I want competitive competition. I want healthy competition. But this is not doing it for me with PGX. So PGX, you need to figure this out. This was this was graded in 2019. This is not good for, for business. This is not good for your customer base. This is not good for, um, for how we uh, customer perception and market perception. This is why PGX books do not get the same value is a 5.0 CGC or even CBCS. Why? Because this is not a 5.0. To anyone's standard, and I know that's another issue. Well, you know, it's it's subjective and it's this and that and it's that and this, but again, there there is precedent. And to anybody's standards, whether it's the Overstreet standard, whether it's CGC standard, whether it's CBCS standard, this is not a 5.0. So with that being said, I'll just say it one more time. This example alone is enough for me to never send a book or spend any money at PGX. So with that being said as well, guys, if you feel like, you know, because it's cheaper to send a book to PGX and you just want it like slabbed and you don't care about resale value or you don't care about that grade there in the top left corner being accurate, um, fine, go ahead. But for me, and until I feel that there is some type of change in this business model, I will never send my money to PGX, send my books to PGX, and I will never suggest any collector send a book to PGX. All right, guys, with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to hear you guys' feedback on this one. All right, guys, be well. Again, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please take some time to do so. And until next time.